Hello my class 5 students, today we are going to start with chapter number 5, William Tell. So let's begin. This short play has been adapted from Sclear's William Tell. The Swiss regards William Tell as their national hero and speak of him with love, pride as the man who inspired their forefathers to free the land from Australian bondage. It tells of William Tell's encounters with Gisler, the governor of Eldorf. In scene 1, William Tell and his family are in their cottage. Tell is working and his sons are learning to shoot with a bow. Tell's wife explains concern about their involvement in fighting. But Tell's believe they need to learn self-defense. Tell plans to visit his father at Eldorf and despite his wife's fear, he is determined to go there. In scene 2, scene shifts to a town square where guards stand by a hat on a pole. Tell and his son Walter pass through and when they refuse to salute the hat, they are arrested. The crowd protests and Gisler, the governor, arrives. Gisler orders Tell to shoot an apple off his son's head or face death. Tell is horrified but eventually takes the shot successfully. Gisler notices a second arrow and questions Tell. Tell admits that it was intended for Gisler if the fourth shot harms his son. Gisler, enraged, orders Tell's arrest. However, Tell escapes and later, after his release, shoots Gisler with a second arrow. Students, now let's recall all the words that we learned today. First, oath which means promises. Second, grudge which means enmity. Third, despise which means hate. Fourth, treason that means crime. Fifth, traitor one who is not faithful to one's own country. Sixth, monstrous which means evil or cruel. Seventh, agony which means pain. Eighth, triant which means dictator. That's it for the day students. Bye-bye.